In this video, I'll show you how to automatically send follow-up emails to your Facebook leads. So assume that a new lead is just arrived whose details you have collected, you have added into the spreadsheet and now your team member is going to contact that particular lead by sending an email. So here we have two cases. The first is your lead is going to reply you back or the second one is your lead is not going to reply you back okay so if your lead is replying you back in that case you can successfully pitch your product or service and simply update the status as yes in the sheet but if your lead is not replying you back in that case only our automation will take place okay so what will happen you just need to simply update the status as no in the sheet and the automation will check the whole sheet that in front of which particular leads the status is mentioned as no so it will automatically send a follow-up email to all those leads something like hey i was trying to contact you but unable to reach let me know when we can have a call okay so this is how this automation is automatically going to send a follow-up emails after the five days of the first contact date to all your facebook leads in front of which you are updating the status as no your team is updating the status as no so if you all also want to automate the follow-up process to your Facebook leads, come with me and I will show you the whole process step by step. Now I am going to automate this process in two parts. In the first part, we will be collecting the Facebook lead form data into a spreadsheet automatically in real time. And in the second part, based on the contact status and the date of contact, we will be scheduling up our follow up emails automatically. For that, I'll have to build an integration into our spreadsheet and into our Facebook lead app form. And I am going to do that with the Pabli Connect. It is an amazing integration and automation software here you can see i am already an existing user of pabli connect and you can also create your free account in just two minutes from this particular button and here you will also get free tasks to test this automation okay once you have logged in simply click on this button that is create workflow and provide any random name to your workflow to your automation which i am about to start okay so i am providing the name something like part one to automatically add the facebook leads into google sheet okay so firstly we will be collecting simply the facebook lead form data into the spreadsheet okay for that you'll have to click on create and then you will find two boxes in front of you okay so these are trigger and action so trigger means when this happens action means do this whenever this happens then automatically do this okay understand with an example also whenever a sale happen let's say in a payment gateway application then automatically send an email via gmail application okay so this is is how you need to always select the applications in which you are building an automation okay according to our use case whenever any new lead is arrived into facebook lead ad form data then automatically collect that lead into which application into google sheets application okay so this is how you need to select the application let me also correct the spelling all right so here i will be searching for the google sheets and now i am going to connect these two application with the pabli connect for that firstly select the trigger event here i want that when a new lead is submitted this automation should trigger so that is why i have selected this new lead instant trigger event now i am going to connect facebook lead form with the pabli connect for that you need to provide the access of your facebook lead ad account simply click on this connect with the facebook lead ads button click on continue okay since i am already logged in into my facebook account so it is simply asking me for the permission instead of asking me for the access okay so here you can see my facebook lead ad account is connected with the pabli connect and since we are connected whatever the pages are available inside my account have started visible here okay so i am going to select which particular page okay so i have created this page with the name pabli tech let me show you this is the page all right so this is my pabli tech page in which i am actually running a facebook lead ad form okay so firstly click on this meta business suit after that click on this all tools at the last okay and then you will have to search for the instant forms here you can see instant forms and here i will show you that which particular form i have created okay so lead ad forms and here i have created several facebook lead ad form okay so let me show you since we are connected whatever the pages are available inside my facebook account have started visible here and i will be searching for which page basically for this pabli tech page okay so here is the page 
page and i want that whenever a new lead is arrived via this particular form okay so the name of the form is inquiry form for school admission so again i will be selecting the lead generation form as this inquiry form for school admission now you'll have to simply click on this button save and send test request and after that read the instructions very carefully okay so clicking after clicking on the save and send test button you'll need to make a sample submission of your lead generation form yes i need to make a sample submission okay and from where i can create this sample submission because i am not running any live advertisement so i'll have to make a dummy entry okay so you can visit this particular documentation where you will find an option of this facebook lead ad testing tool okay i will directly visit this particular page by simply clicking on that particular hyperlink and here you can see i have reached to the facebook lead ads testing tool okay so simply select your page and your form and then we will make a dummy session submission okay so let me search for my page that is pabli tech all right so this is the page and in this page i am going to again select that inquiry form for school admission okay you can delete the existing test entry okay so you do not have a lead submitted for the selected form yet so i will directly preview this form and will make a dummy submission from here by simply select by simply filling out this form and you will see the same details the lead data will be captured via pabli connect because it is actually waiting for the webhook response okay here also it is asking to do a test submission or record okay so let me fill this particular form where is the form here you can see we have this form so assume that it is an inquiry form for the new admission of the school for which the parent is actually submitting this particular form and here i have provided the dummy details only okay now i'll click on next and then click on submit and this is how the form submission will made okay come back to pabli connect and wait for that form submission data and here you can see the response is received inside pabli connect and if i will show you the details one by one these are the same details which we have submitted at the form okay so the presence of this data clearly shows that the connection in between our facebook lead ad account and pabli connect is working absolutely fine okay and now i am going to send this particular data into the google sheets all right so the google sheets is already selected simply select this add a new row as the action event and just like we have connected facebook and pabli connect now i am going to connect this google sheets with the pabli connect simply click on the sign in with google well i have already provided my access so i'll go with the existing connection but if you are building this connection for the first time you'll have to go with the new connections only and once the connections are done then you can also go with the existing connection and here you can see now we are connected and since we are connected whatever the spreadsheets i have created inside my spreadsheet account inside my google sheet account have started visible here okay so currently uh, i have the sheet name as facebook lead okay so i am going to search i am going to select the same that is facebook lead only okay and further i have a single sheet only that is sheet 1 okay so again i'll select the same again it has got selected automatically now whatever the columns i have created inside my spreadsheet have started visible here inside pabli connects dashboard okay so currently i have this name email phone number class contacts as social and date of contact so i'll show you the same that is name email phone number class contact successful and lastly the date of contact okay so i am going to fill these details one by one and from where i am going to provide this data basically uh, from the previous data response okay so how i am going to provide this data well i don't need to manually copy this data and paste it here i am going to map it and mapping is very simple click on this particular field and you will find the above data here in the drop down okay so it is asking for the name i have mapped the name asking for the email address let me search for the email address i have mapped the email address as well asking for the phone number so where is the phone number all right here we have the phone number asking for the class okay so this is how i am going to map all the data one by one okay lastly it is asking for the contact successful and date of contact okay so currently uh, it's just a 
new leads so in the first phase i will be adding the status as no only and this date of contact column will be blank because when the lead will be collected into the spreadsheet then my team will come and they will start contacting to these people and after that they are going to mention the date of the contact here okay so i will be leaving this particular data as blank okay now finally i'll click on this button save and send test request and you will see the response is received and we will definitely get the data inside our spreadsheet and yes we have the data okay now this is how you can collect all your lead data into this particular spreadsheet and once you will have a sufficient number of data then your team can start contacting to these leads okay so for now i'll close this particular sheet because i have already collected lots of leads into one of the spreadsheet and assume that the team has already started the contacting and they have also mentioned the status as no to whom they were unable to contact along with the date okay so here comes our second part of our automation okay so the first part of our automation is absolutely done okay so i am going to attach the link of this automation into my description box okay just in case if you want to learn how i have created this automation okay now i will be creating the second option let me minimize it let me pin this particular tab okay and then i'm going to create the second part so simply click on this create workflow button once again and provide random name to your workflow just like we have provided to our first automation all right so i have provided a name as part 2 to automatically follow up your leads by sending email now simply click on create and then again we will have to select the application now in this particular case instead of selecting the application directly here i will select some different thing that is schedule well schedule is an amazing feature of pavli connect via which you can schedule your automations schedule your workflows for a regular interval of time okay so in this particular case i want that every day this automation should run and should check the status as well as the date of contact and based on this date and contact status it should start sending the follow up emails okay so that is why i am selecting this scheduler here and in this scheduler since i want to run this automation every day so i have selected the same in this how often you want to run your workflow and here you can also select a time okay from this particular drop down okay i'll keep the same time and simply click on save and this is how you will see my automation will be scheduled okay so here you can see it is scheduled for every day this automation will run every day now every day at 12:38 pm this automation is going to fetch the data from the google sheet whose status is actually mentioned as in no okay because we want to send the follow up email to only these three people whose data whose status is mentioned as no and the contact date should be 5 days ago so firstly we will be fetching up this data and then we are going to do this calculation inside pavli connect only okay so how i am going to fetch that details simply click on this plus icon and search for the google sheets first okay and after selecting the google sheets in the action even you'll have to select this look up spreadsheet row because we want to look up for a specific value specific column okay so firstly connect this spreadsheet with the pavli connector or you can go with the existing connections also if you have made the connections already okay and once it is connected again we will be mentioning the sheet okay so here you can see all the sheets are visible here and i am going to select this facebook leads sheet okay that is facebook lead sheet and the sheet one will be the same here you can see i have a single sheet only now here comes the interesting part it is asking for the look up column okay search column here okay so i want to look up for this e column okay and in this e column i will be checking that which particular entries have the status as the no okay so that is why i will be specifying here as e and now it is asking that which value you would like to look up okay so i will like to look up for which value for this no value for this no status so that is why i will be mentioning here as no i will include the header into the response and sort value will remain same now i'll be clicking on this button save and send test request and you will see it will fetch the details that is the detail of the second customer the third customer and the sixth customer okay so let me come back to pavli connect and here you can see into this response i have this data okay let me 
me show you we have the data of the second customer the name email phone number class status and contact it is again let me show you the data of the another person that is admin name email address again phone number the class standard again status and the date of contact and lastly we have the data of the sixth person that is this okay so this is how you can fetch all the details now automation always process the data one by one but currently i have total three data okay so how i am going to process this data into one by one format okay so simply disable this uh, toggle button okay and firstly you will have to capture the same response in the advanced format okay so basically i have enabled this advanced format and disabled the simple response and currently i have the same data into this array format here if you will notice this data it is the same data here we have the row index as 2 and here we have the row index as 3 and lastly we have the row index as the 6 and these are the same values that is the name the email address the phone the class the contact okay so here also we have the same details okay so i have firstly captured this data into the array format and now i am going to iterate this data i am going to process this data one by one how i can do that with the help of iterator which is an again an amazing feature of pavli connect via which you can process your data process your array uh, one by one okay so now it is asking to choose array okay i just have a single array only let me show you i have this response result okay and this is actually on the second step okay two and response result you can notice two and response result so it has taken the same value automatically two response result if i'll click on this button you will see it will give me the data of only one entry this time here you can see i have the data of first row only whose status is actually no okay why it has fetched the data of only three rows because here i have specifically mentioned that look up for the value only which consist of no into this e column okay and in our case in this e column we have only these three data as no in this data okay so that is why it has fetched the details and now i am going to calculate the number of days so currently i have the data of this test customers to whom my team has already contacted on this particular date but they were unsuccessful so they have mentioned the status as no okay and now i have this data into the pavli connect and here you can notice the date was 24th of march and today is 3rd of april so it is already more than 5 days since we have made a contact to this particular person so now we are eligible to follow up this particular person so how we are going to specify the same in this system okay so basically we are going to do the calculation in between the current date and in between this particular date okay so simply click on this plus icon and fetch out the current date and then we are going to calculate the difference in between this date and in between the current date okay so how you can fetch the date basically the current date simply search for the date and time format of feature again it is an amazing using feature of pavli connect and here in the action event you'll have to search for the current date this is how you can fetch the current date okay so you'll have to specify the basic format okay so i have the date in this particular format basically these numbers are separated with the slash okay so i'll be selecting the same format so that i can make a comparison very easily okay so here i have the same format that that is mmddyyyy uh, separating with the slash okay so i have selected the same do you want to include the time also in this particular date no i don't want to include the time so i'll go with the false only and i have clicked on save and send test request and here you can see it has given me the date of 3rd of april and now i am going to perform the calculation in between these two dates okay so how calculations can be performed within pavli connect okay so simply click on this plus icon once again and search for the number formatter okay well again number formatter is an amazing feature of pavli connect via which you can perform various kinds of operation and this time i'll go with the spreadsheet formula okay and in this spreadsheet formula you will find a lot of options okay and i will be searching for which particular option basically the one which can calculate the difference of the dates okay so from here exactly you can check the full list of the formula so i just want a 
single formula of the days and here we have that particular formula okay in this particular format you'll have to provide the values and this is how you will get the expected result okay so let me paste the same format so in place of first date i'll add the current date and in place of second date i'll add the date of the contact here we have the date of the contact as 24th of march okay so let me map these two dates okay so simply remove this particular data and you will find the data of the previous step here in the response here in the drop down let me first search for the current date okay so here we have the current date which we have fetched with this particular feature that is date and time formatter feature and in place of this particular date i will be mapping the date which i have received from the iterator step remember we are mapping the date of this particular person and here we have the date let me directly click on this button and wait for the difference all right so it is showing that there is a difference of 10 days in between these days in that case our automation should proceed and it should send a follow up email to our customer to our lead okay but i'll have to specify that condition also in this automation that if the difference is greater than or equal to 5 days then only the automation should proceed otherwise the automation should stop here only okay and how you can specify this condition with the help of filter again it's an amazing feature of pabli connect via which you can apply various kind of conditions within your workflow within your automation okay in this select a label you'll have to specify that on what particular value you want to specify a condition okay so i want to specify this condition in this difference of days okay so i have mapped that thing and now i'll specify here if that value if the difference of days is greater than equal to 5 then only this automation should proceed okay so the first condition is done and apart from this one more condition i'll specify here with the help of this or condition okay so either this condition should be true or another condition will be let me show you what i am going to apply here again i'll select the difference of the dates and that is 10 if number of days is again equal to 5 in that case also this automation should proceed other than this if the difference is smaller than 5 in that case this automation will stop here only because the condition is going to be false in that case but currently the difference is true so that is why condition is true and since the condition is true the automation is surely going to proceed and when it will proceed what should be the next step so finally it should send the follow up email okay and how i am going to send this follow up email via this gmail application just in case if you want to send these kind of follow ups via some email marketing software you can also search for that particular application in place of gmail okay currently i'll show you how you can follow up via gmail only okay so i have already selected this application and in action event since i want to send an email so i have selected the same well i just have a single action event only okay and again i'm going to connect this gmail with the pabli connect so you'll have to click on this button and provide the access i'll go with the existing connection because i have already made the connections earlier okay now you'll have to specify the details one by one firstly it is asking for the recipient email address okay so the person whom we would like to send a follow up email is this particular person that is the test customer whose email id is uh, let me show you this admin at the rate pablitudes.com okay so again i am going to map the id this particular id into this recipient email address okay so i have already told you mapping is very simple click on this particular field and search for your data and here we have the email id as admin at the rate pablitudes.com i leave the cc and bcc field blank asking for the sender name so i'll add the sender name any random sender name that is pabli okay finally it is asking for the subject line and the apply to and then email content type and finally the email content okay so this is just a quick follow up okay i'll add something like this okay and here i also want to include the name of the person so after this hello i'll map the name of that person hello test customer then i'll add a comma this is just a quick follow up okay this is going to be my subject line reply to again i'll leave this particular field blank email content type will be same that is plain okay finally here exactly i am going to compose my email okay so here hello 
and I will add the name of the person that is test customer few days back our team or you can say Pabli team was trying to contact you regarding the school admission of your children let me know when we can have a call in your free time so that we can discuss the admission process further and it is my request to reply back as soon as possible because the seats are getting well okay thanks okay so assume that i would like to send a follow-up email such kind of follow-up email to all the customer to whom i was unable to contact uh, five days ago okay so i have composed this particular follow-up email for all my facebook leads okay just in case if you have any attachment you can attach here exactly you can add the link of that okay and provide the file name okay but currently i'm going to leave these two fees blank and finally i'll click on that button and you will see how the email will get sent automatically let me click on this button save and send this request and wait for the response all right here you can see it is showing sent and the response is already received let me check my my gmail account and here you can notice that it is the same account of that particular person okay and the email is also arrived the subject line is same hello test customer this is just a quick follow-up hello test customer a few days back Pabli team was trying to contact you regarding the school admission of your children let me know when we can have a call in your free time so that we can discuss the admission process for that and it is my request to reply back as soon as possible because the seats are getting filled thanks okay so this is how now onwards every time you are going to collect the details and after that every time you are going to mention the status and the date of contact here our automation is going to execute on the daily basis okay and if it will find out the data into our spreadsheet that our team member was unable to contact any specific person and it's already been more than five days in that case this automation is automatically going to pick that data inside Pabli connect do some calculations inside Pabli connect check for the condition and this is how the follow-up emails will get sent automatically you do not have to do anything manually okay so this was the first part of our automation and this is the second part of our automation and in order to automate this process you need to create these two workflows these two automation inside Pabli connect just once after that you can simply close Pabli connect you can simply close these two workflows and sit back and relax because Pabli connect will take care of all the tasks in the back end you do not have to do anything manually once this automation is ready I will also attach the link of these two automation inside my youtube description box so that if you want to clone these two workflows inside your pabli connect account simply click on that link and sign up into the pabli connect and the same workflows will be cloned inside your pabli connect account that too for free not just these applications you can integrate multiple applications and automate your business with pabli connect you can ask your queries at forum.pabli.com my team will surely answer to your questions this is the website of pabli connect and for the latest updates of pabli connect and unique automation ideas you can join our facebook group that is formget.deals if you have found this video helpful in any way share it with your friends and colleagues and also help them to automate their business like share and subscribe thank you for watching this video